Absolutely. Fantastic. Right, well, we, we need to dig into your career then, Bernie, because it, it's all kicking off with this. So you, talk me through it. Pick it up from wherever you want and it, then take me through to where you are It's now. not so much a career as a series of strange, lucky coincidences, right. really. Um, I, I passed 11 plus, I got to grammar school, um, but I was heavily dyslexic. I didn't like school. I didn't really work very hard. Um, got onto A levels, didn't really work very hard. This is not a great uh, message for the children, but let's these teachers watching this. Um, and <clears throat> as I was telling you the other night, uh, luckily I had a, a local parish priest, Father Christopher Delaney, mm. who contacted Strawberry Hill Teacher Training College and despite what my results were going to look like, persuaded them to take me. Right. So I then ended up in teacher training. But what, why, te why teacher? Uh, Largely because my mother tells me that I said that the teachers had done such a terrible job, I was convinced I could do better than ah, that. Ah, okay, that's So I wanted to set out to prove that uh, this could be done in a better way, um, a different way. And uh, I didn't really cover myself in glory there either, but managed, <laughs> managed to get through right. and uh, surprised myself by passing the exams and hadn't really thought about getting a job. But I, a friend of mine, Chris Corcoran, thank you, Chris, um, mentioned a, a headmaster of a private school in Hampstead that he right. thought that I would fit into. And the, it was run by a guy called Tim Patton, who was a ponytailed hippie headmaster. And so I went up there on my motorbike uh, with my shoulder length hair, <laughs> Che Guevara moustache, nice. and tinty glasses, and Tim with his ponytail. So uh, his interview technique really was to keep plying you with uh, large Irish whiskies. <laughs> Right. and seeing if you survive that and uh, I did right. and we hit it off so uh, I started working there. Jeez. Um, he basically let me do what I wanted provided I got results so it was a fantastic, I stayed there for 26 years, Oof. I was very lucky to have him, he supported me entirely. And sorry this is a prime, primary school? It's a, it's, a, it's a private school there. They, and sorry primary school? Is yeah, it? They, a prep school, prep. boys prep school which and, is all I've ever taught and in. so they go year. from 3 to 13 years old. Got it, got it. Um, and I, I kind of just ploughed my own furrow, developed my own way, taught myself maths, thought about ways of doing things. Didn't read anything because I don't like reading too much. Um, and just kind of worked away at it. Um, and then after 26 years, I, I did some, finally did some studying. Uh, by which time, by the way, I was working really hard because I realised these children were my responsibility. Mm. Um, and then in my 40s, I started to do a degree and then I, I did a master's. And at the end of that, I'd done 26 years in the school and got restless and yes. wanted to move. But being in my late 40s at that, that stage, most schools were very suspicious. They thought I was looking for somewhere to retire ah, to, right. have okay. a quiet retirement. Luckily, Dr. Trevor Lee, who was at a North of Prep, a very different school, came to watch me teach and, and took a risk on me. Um, and I started working there. So the first school I was at was first names. They called me Bernie, not Sir. Right. There wasn't really a, a uniform to talk about. And the next school was everybody was Sir and Miss. They all stood up when, the, when the, an adult came in. They wore stripy blazers. So it was very different. But uh, also, Trevor was great because he let me teach the way I wanted to, provided I got results. And he was the guy who let us bring in Singapore Maths in 2006. And, and had the confidence and belief in me to roll that out. And that's how we got going into this manipulatives and Singapore stuff. Jeez, that fascinating, that, Bernie. That's right. Well, not, not really a career. But no, I uh, like it. I like it. Jeez. <laughs> a journey. <laughs> and you told me just when we were having dinner last night a, a wonderful story about how the, sorry, I forget the guy's name, the, the kind of father who kind of, oh, yeah. uh, and how you, um, you kind of contacted him. Oh, yeah, well, th thanks to you, um, I've sort of been reviewing a lot of my life and looking back. I realised that I'd never contacted this guy to thank him, so I tracked him down. And this is the guy you kind of... He was the priest, the local parish priest, who rang the teacher training. The only reason I've had my lucky life in teaching was down to him, otherwise I never would have got into it. Um, and so I tracked him down, he's at Buckfast Abbey, he's 84 years old, and we got contact, and I said I'd belatedly thank him, and he was delighted to hear from me, and we're going to arrange to meet up there, my wife and I are going up there to meet him and see him. He's 84 years old and still on his bicycle cycling round. Amazing guy. That's nice. So thank you, Father Cristalini. That's <laughs> nice. Super. Fantastic.